Hello there YouTubers. Something different today. I purchased um, about three weeks ago some Bandai R2D2 and R5D4. And I got my friend James who is quite good at this. He's a specialist in models and wearing and painting. And I asked him to do a couple for me. He's just done the R5D4 and I'm going to show you how he did it basically um, he did it in a couple of stages um, and then he painted away with it so here we go R5 he's not finished um, and R5. oh wow excellent so cool. that's him non weathered and I've got like literally the little panels on the back to put on that's cool and all the grills I haven't done all the grills yet um, oh that's brilliant but yeah so he stands like that. Yeah. Or now this is I saw this issue online. So you take his head off. Yeah. Hit that, and there's his middle leg, and then you can add him like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is really good. Him. That is. Let's get him in position. Yeah. Oh no! See, his middle leg is a little bit loose it doesn't oh. lock down now i did see that so you might have to put it and set it well the thing is if you want if you make your choice for r2 if you want r2 displayed like that mm. in that position because mm. when i the one i looked at online it was r2's leg that did that r5 was fine yeah. r2's leg did that so I, if oh, it might be the other way around in my one an r2 might be fine if it's a bit wobbly and you want him in the tricycle position, mm. I'll just glue it. Yeah. Okay. Um, R5, I quite like him with, with in, not like that, just upright. You like him in the normal display? Now, display. it sticks in. But that sticks all right. That's you fine. Just, you can mess them out of it. So, up is fine. So Down the board... is a bit loose. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Also, the other... What was the other thing I was going to say? No, he's fine. Um, and then, so his, his middle leg is a little bit iffy. I had him, it wasn't quite like that at home. I don't know whether that's the journey that's... Ah, there you go. That's so he'll fine. Sit, he'll sit like that quite happily. Um, that's him done, except for the grill there, the grill there, the grill on the other side, and the grill on the back, and the, the other thing. Really? But that's what r is going to look like now. All the silver parts mm. I painted. All the silver bits are painted. They're not the... the oh, you painted them already? Really? I did paint them. I painted them while they were still attached to the sprue. Um, yeah. I didn't paint the white or the red or the blue. Now, I wanted to see... I was going to use R5 as a, an experiment because mm. I wanted to see whether I need to paint the white. Yeah. Now, if you look on R5's head you can see there's like a sink mark. Oh yeah, yeah. There's just a very fine... So, I'm gonna paint R2. Okay. I'm gonna spray him black, and I'm gonna paint him white. Okay. Um, also the blue. Now looking at the blue, because of the, because of the dome, mm. and I'm gonna have to fill it and spray it silver, some of the blue bits have to go in before you put it together. Mm. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the blue. But I was looking online over the last couple of days, and R2 is not blue. Oh, it's not blue. Oh, it's not filthed. And that looks really good. Do you think so? Yeah. I'm not particularly happy with him. Why is that then? Well, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. You're not happy with that? No. No, there's a few things that I'm not thrilled with, actually. Okay, explain why. Right, well, firstly, if you look on the top of his head, yeah. there's a couple of cracks appeared. I can see with this spell. Oh, yes. Right. So that's when I put the weathering wash on, mm. it makes the paddle, paddle, the plastic, very brittle and likely to, to snap. Okay. So I should have painted him white because the paint protects him. I gave him a, two coats of gloss varnish and thought that will do. Yeah. No, it won't. He needs to be painted. But at least it has taught me that my Boba Fett, yeah. I can't put the wash on him because okay. he's not painted. Yeah. So that at least has taught me 
he's going to have to stay without a wash. They don't look too bad. It's nothing. It's it's like very superficial, and there's a little one down on his foot somewhere. Um, but I'm a bit disappointed that I used him more as an experiment. If well, you know look. what I mean. Um, I think he looks okay. Yeah. But I've decided R two is going to get the full treatment. Okay. So R two, everything's going to be painted. Everything he'll be painted white. His blue parts will be painted blue. Um, I've written out a little list of how I'm going to do it as well. I've got it all planned. Um, I mean, he looks good. He looks. I'd, I'd be happy with him. <laughs> I was just um, going to say. I quite like the the, I like the sand in. and the chipping of the sand in here as well. Like yeah. He's been dusty. It's like something out of um, New Hope. I'm sure I'm quite happy about. Well, that's what I wanted because I thought if you were to get. If, well, however you display them, if it was going to be me, I would get um, a picture of the sand crawler, the tracks of the sand crawler, put a bit of cardboard, yeah. mount it to that and stick it behind so it looks like he stood in front of the sand crawler. Mm. Because if you've got this on the Black Series, which you can buy, yeah, he's nothing like this. He's clean, he's, yeah, he's, he's like he's a come out the factory line. Yeah. Yeah, sort of I don't think I've gone quite dirty enough on the head. I, th I think personally... The head doesn't look quite as dirty as the body, um, but again, I was a little bit sort of remiss to go too much on him. Um, but I do like the metal chipping on his red bits on the front there. Mm. I think they look pretty good, and the sort of grease, dirty oil stains. That's what I like as well. And you've got it on the legs as well. Yeah, and well, the I, side. Yeah, I chipped and him, and you chipped it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chip because. What did you use then? Microfiber. Just use no, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I have to use my eyes. I can't use it for some reason. Using a magnifying glass is like painting in a mirror to me. I can't do it. Right. And I've got one of those things. It's got like a couple of little grippers on it, and you can angle the magnifying so you can hold a piece and then angle the magnifying glass over it. What about those um, these little bits here, the little black bits down the bottom there? Do you paint all that as well? Uh, Just down this bit here, that little tiny. Yeah, there. yeah. That's all the wash. Oh wow. That's the wash. That's the dirt wash. Um. Yeah, and you see uh, the band around his, the piping around his head. Yeah. I'm quite happy with how yeah, that no, went on. It's straight, it's not on the cock anywhere, so, yeah. And when you give him a, a matte varnish, it brings everything together. So the silver's still shiny. With, mm. the, with these metallic paints, if you look just to the right of his leg, it looks like the paint's flaked off a bit. Yeah. Yeah, so when you handle these metallic paints, they tend to oxidise in places. Um, and it gives quite a good effect. Like, it's an accident, but it gives quite a good effect. So it looks like it's sort of, well, like the metallicness has yeah, come Yeah, it's just off. like he's, you know, been weathered and battered, it's been yeah. through the elements. Yeah, um, so, um, yeah, he's, he looks okay, he looks good. He certainly, Certainly better than if he'd just come out the box. Mm, definitely. Um, and I think he certainly looks better than the fucking Black Series stuff. <laughs> yeah, he does. But yeah, it's alright. So, anyway, cool. that's R5 D4 done. And hopefully, in a couple of weeks, we'll have R2 D4 D2, sorry, <laughs> um, completed. And um, James will show that to me and I'll put it on YouTube. And then we'll have the X Wing and the Millennium Falcon, which will be done, which I'll be putting on on this YouTube channel. Anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to me, subscribe to me. I'll catch you later.